my name is Judith Milner and I'm a trustee with the Calder and Cone Rivers Trust, which is a, a voluntary organisation which looks after the health of the river uh, for anglers, canoeists, walkers, everyone. And as you probably know, the River Calder is the most engineered river in Yorkshire, so it has some very specific problems and is prone to flooding. Um, and they said we're going to pick some storms up as well. Today we're training uh, volunteers to be monitors of invertebrate life in the rivers. In other words, that is pond dipping in rivers, bunk hunting, and they're looking at their samples and identifying eight pollution sensitive species. Just pop your net on your downstream side. You can start to then disturb the bottom. So anything I'm disturbing should be going into the net with the natural flow. This morning we're actually doing some uh, river fly monitoring using the net to catch insects that living in this river, which will later on we'll actually look at in greater detail to analyse what types of creature we've actually got, uh, and that will give us an indication of the water quality of this particular river and stream. And by doing this on a really regular basis, perhaps once a month, we can actually pick up minor deteriorations in water quality, uh, which could be a result of a pollution incident. And obviously if there's a major incident, we'll pick it up really easily, because obviously it'll kill a lot of the invertebrates that we're actually looking at today. So you will see, the, simple is, uh, the method is quite simple, just using a simple kick net, by holding that in the floor, and then actually disturbing the sediments just above the net, anything that's living in them sediments will be obviously released and washed into the net and then we're going safe and sound to be analysed uh, in, a short, in a short period of time. The rivers of the country are broken down into different water bodies and we monitor and assess these to try and achieve good ecological status across the board. The Water Framework Directive is an EU directive led by Europe to assess the water quality of all the rivers in the whole of Europe. As part of the WF Water Framework Directive, we are not allowed to let our rivers deteriorate in classification, which means if a, a river is currently at good ecological status, this is not allowed to deteriorate, so we need to carry on monitoring to ensure that there is no risk of deterioration and ensure that no pollution is occurring that we are unaware of. We are actually awarded points for style. That's it, you've got it. So it's things like that that we're looking for. And that's looking. caddis. Right, so we need to wash it now. Yeah, we need to wash it. So. Let's check this. Oh, look at that one that's just shot across. What's yes, that? That's a shrimp. This particular project is linked to tree responsibility, uh, the source, which is in the upper calder, uh, where we're looking at also monitoring the tree planting to mitigate flooding. So that's a very long term project. And we're also uh, funded by the Coal Authority to assess the effectiveness of the mine water treatment plants at Clough Foots uh, on the river, uh, so that the ochre water, uh, which could be very damaging, seen if that is being uh, remedied. <laughs> Okay, so this afternoon we're actually going to look at the samples we collected this morning and thankfully we've got a really useful chart to help us identify these different creatures and we can actually separate them in different categories and by doing that we can then count how many they are. So this really useful chart will help us identify what we've got and also on the chart is a recording sheet so we can actually record what we find and this will be directly related to the water quality that actually are this water that we're actually on today. Yes. 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 But they're very common in this type of water. Uh, you get them right in edges. You've obviously got the one with the strap gills like this. Yeah. And then you look for the small ones. The smaller ones. Oh, are they beautiful? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. The other one. The other it's a revelation, isn't it? Looking yeah. Through. It's marvellous. Yeah. And it's, it's so rich in this environment, isn't it? Well, well. The shape of the gill is still very sweet. So it's yeah. quite interesting. It comes up in quite a long way. That's a zoom there. 
Well, is that the, the three tail pieces I heard you yes, talking about? Yes, that's the three tail one, so that makes it part of the upwing drum. Yeah, it's definitely a... It's, it's probably a chronomid larvae pupil case. <laughs> What is it, Melvin? It's a case canister. It's the tiniest case canister you've seen in your life. I cannot believe that. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm Melvin Wood. I'm the area coordinator for the Invertebrate Monitoring uh, for the Cone and Calder Rivers Trust. Now, Invertebrate Monitoring is a, a way of checking the health of the river, um, for the canaries of, of, of the riverside. We count the invertebrates and we give them scores. Those scores are put down onto a, onto a sheet. I think we've got 14 there. It then gets put onto a spreadsheet by myself and then sent off to the environment agency. Uh, and that is a good check of, of the river. So we've got two, two case, case caddies. Right, category. Two case caddies. And these fellas the, over here, stone fly. The stone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which are oh, they do. They do discharge. 12, 14, 15. Yeah, 15. Yeah. Okay, so we've actually. Uh, completed analysis now and that will be emailed directly to our river coordinator for this area but also if there's any problems and uh, the data will also be sent to the local environment agency representative. Three, volunteers are very important so all aspects of our work. Many of the volunteers are anglers or people that are out and about most of the time so they can flag up any issues that we are not on the ground to see. Volunteers' data tends to come through on a monthly or bi-monthly basis, and we will. I'll have a quick look at the data, and um, if there seems to be any problems comparing when I compare that to the previous data they've collected, then we can send a team out to investigate. This is a tiny caddis fly here. Hold on a minute. It's a tiny, tiny caddis fly, but it's just emerging and it's at the end of it. Right. right. Yes. Well done, that man. Um, today we've uh, had 12 volunteers being trained to act as monitors uh, in the Upper Calder Valley. Uh, this has been partly funded by the Co-op and, and the Coal Authority. And I'm very pleased to say that today we've, we've got a fantastic sample uh, and the, the, uh, the river is in good nick, real good nick, so I'm very pleased about that.